You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique in DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk, especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently, unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So, where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, The Lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. 
So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Did you make up your mind about joining me? Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there. Stand it up! Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together.
Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. It's two-thirds of Evolution ready for tag team action. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 448 pounds. The Lock, Justin, JJ Long, and Gabriel Slade. The Intercontinental Champion and Gabriel are an exciting blend of potential and experience that could reshape this entire tag team division. Sure, if the lock's actually ready for a partner. And at a combined weight, of 610 pounds, Omos and Carmelo Hayes, the Hurt Business. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Oh, Saxton, oh, oh, oh. profits are up. Get your solo cups out. Here comes the smoke. You are legitimately dancing right now. Go on, Corey, stand up. Side to side, left to right. You look decidedly less cool than Dawkins and Ford when they do it, Saxton. And at a combined weight of 492 pounds, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Guys, raise your cups for the Street Profits. We only have bottled water, you idiot. Well, look at me. I've got a cup. Check it out. What is in that cup? It stinks. It's homemade kombucha, Corey. Hey, you want some? No. Your loss. Oh. 
You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. The new look Intercontinental Champions teamed up with Gabriel Slade to challenge the Street Profits for their Raw Tag Team titles. And they'll have to go through Omos and Carmelo Hayes while they're at it to walk away as tag champs. I can't remember seeing this much talent in one ring in a long time. Well, Saxton clearly has the memory of a goldfish, but he's right. This triple threat tornado tag match is as stacked as it gets. And I, for one, can't wait to see if Randy Orton's new evolution lives up to the hype. Knee drop. From behind, back suplex. Oh, look at the kicks right to the middle. Oh, look at all these boots to the face. Here comes a big one. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. Uh oh. Oh, no. From behind. Oh, boy. Reverse choke slam. Right in the face. He caught him by surprise. Oh, the lock manages to counter. Man. Strikes. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champ kicks out easily. He was down, but he certainly wasn't out. Oh. Series of boots. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. No other way to say it. Montez Ford wants the smoke. Ooh. Ooh. Incoming! Beautiful suplex. Striking with the knee drop. So precise. Here's a pin for the title. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. And a big boot. DDT! Fight. Nasty shot, and now the blood is flowing from Mello's face. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Suplex! A bit of psychological warfare from Angelo Dawkins here. Measured knee drop. And he's able to reverse. Big boot! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Big forearm. Bam! Down he goes. Ooh, hello. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Nice takedown. Hayes putting on a little display for the WWE Universe. Oh, it is over. Dip. I think I know what's next. Your favorite, Saxton. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Gonna see a new champ. Ooh. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Evolution looking to capture tag team gold. Moss has other plans. The Intercontinental Champion is doing everything in this power to counter. No, Moss is just too strong. The new Hurt Business looks to walk out as champions. Montez Ford with the frog splash out of nowhere. Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear from Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold. But ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot.
Obviously things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not gonna regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first from Kobe, Japan. Weighing in at 228 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, Justin J.J. Long. The Intercontinental Champion hasn't made too many entrances in his WWE career, but he seems to be getting the hang of it. He seems to be getting the hang of a lot of things, like winning. Let's see if he can keep the train rolling here tonight. Anything can happen tonight. All's fair in Lock and War. champions nxt raw and smackdown you know what that means michael it doesn't matter what the brand is the street profits always bring the smoke The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The Loxy. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The Lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. That's mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh! Oh! Ah, kick! Nasty kick. Oh, kick right to the spine. He's lost some of his win now. And he's hanging tough so far. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. Oh, uh, stop right to the gut. Really just laying it in. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Caught by the back of the elbow. A stalemate of counters. Arm trapped. Endless knee strikes. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Oh! Consecutive attacks keeping Dawkins off his game. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Three. That turns it around for Montez. 
Standing shooting star cover. Shoulders are down. And a kick out before the count even begins. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. Ford got met with some stiff resistance there. This is a true test of stamina. You have to stay strong to come out on top in a handicap match. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. He gets tagged in. Big boot. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. Oh, look at this, arm wrench. Beautiful back kick. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Momentum on the side of the lock. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Gotta find a way back in this. Oh, man. Now he's been put on the defensive. Escape just in time. Precision strikes. Oh. Dawkins avoids that one. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Sharp punch. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Ooh, boom, what a kick. Mounted palm strikes. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, but at this point in a handicap match, you have to expect some lasting damage. Considering the situation, things could be far worse. Vicious kicks to the jaw. Oh, my goodness. Locke sizing him up from the top. Taking flight. Diving foot stop to the chest. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. What a shot. Nasty knee. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. He steers clear of contact. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Placing them into the corner. One, two. Series of kicks in the corner. Just opened up Angelo Dawkins. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Knee right to the face. Con I think I know what's next. Your favorite, Saxton. Yokosuka Cutter has the lock settled this. Boom! He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. And a victory. A win. Here is your winner. The Lock, Justin, KJ, Long. The Lock certainly lived up to the hype tonight, Cole. There's a reason that everyone in WWE is so excited about The Lock's future. No doubt about it. The better superstar definitely won tonight. bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. 
Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group. And we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say.